Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. So today's video is going to be nice, short and sweet. And by sweet, I mean sweet. I'm going to show you some fragrances that I love wearing uh, to bed. So these perfumes I wear, I spray on just before bedtime and they happen to be sweet, most of them anyway. I love wearing gourmand fragrances, fragrances that have lots of vanilla, lots of sugary sweetness. Um, I'm not sure why I love wearing them at bedtime. So without further ado, let's go through them. I'm not going to put them in any um, order. I'm just going to randomly pick them out. So the first one is M by Mariah Carey. This is a sweet, delicious marshmallow cupcake type of a scent. It's warm, inviting and puts me to sleep like a baby. As soon as I spray this on, I am ready for bed. I'm ready to snuggle inside that bed and just be really warm and relaxed. Love it. Another delicious type of a fragrance is the Prada Candy. This is more of a uh, caramel fragrance. It's thick, sweet, caramel, delicious, um, but it's also woody and slightly musky on my skin. And I love the fact that it has that muskiness to it because it just cancels it out from being too foody. Um, it's slightly woody on my skin as well. I absolutely adore it. Very warm, very inviting type of a scent and very comforting. Uh, the third fragrance I will talk about is this one. Love wearing this one. This is Musk by Mona de Oreo. Uh, this one's a little bit different. It's not foody, it's not a gourmand, but it does contain an almond note, but it's more of a, a like a green almond note. Um, it's more of a musky... Uh, powdery scent so you've got a lot of powder in there lots of muskiness and slight uh, nuttiness from that green almond now I love wearing powdery scents to bed but if just slight powder like I'm I don't want to suffocate myself with powder this is a perfect blend of those three main notes so musky powdery and nutty it's absolutely perfect for bedtime makes me sleep like a baby um this next one is what started it all i never used to really wear fragrance to sleep until i discovered how good this one is um at bedtime oh my gosh this was the first one i started wearing to bed it's fancy by jessica simpson Oh my goodness, guys. This is a sweet, sugary, caramel, cupcakey, sort of artificial smelling, but it just does the job. It really, really does. This one is my go to. Like, this is probably my favorite one to wear uh, to bed. As soon as I spray it on, I know that it's bedtime. Oh yeah, it's bedtime. I'm going to sleep and I'm going to have some good dreams with this fragrance. I adore it to bed. And I only wear this one for bedtime actually. Okay, the next one is a very unique fragrance. It's also a celebrity fragrance and it's Glowing by J.Lo. Now, this one is very unusual very unusual scent and i wouldn't blind purchase it um this one is like a either hate or either love kind of fragrance the scent is quite tropical and when i say tropical i don't mean it's sweet or fruity it's got nothing to do with fruits or sweetness at all it's got coconut like i can smell coconut from it but it's the coconut a bitter green coconut or coconut water um, it's not sweet at all and it kind of reminds me of something you'd find in an Asian country or or a scent that you'd smell in a luxurious um, spa resort or a massage parlor or something like that so it's got this healing type of a scent therapeutic healing thing going on i don't know it's really unique um and it actually reminds me of bamboo so if you smelt bamboo it just reminds me of that 
or being in a um, a jungle, you know, and uh, somewhere in Asia. It just reminds me of that. As soon as I smell it, I am just there. I am in a jungle with beautiful, lush, big green leaves and um, like water drops, you know, from the leaves and things like that. I've just transformed into that. And it's just got this healing effect on me. Now, I have a story about this one. Uh, when I first bought it, I wanted to wear it and my mother-in-law was coming to visit me and so I had a shower and quickly sprayed some on and she came over and we were just sitting, you know, talking on the couch and next thing you know it, we both fell asleep. <laughs> no jokes. We both literally, we just dozed off to sleep and then when we woke up, we're like, what the hell happened? And then I thought about it really hard and I thought, you know what, it must have been my fragrance. Like, it was that calming. It had that effect on both of us that we just literally slept. So from that day on, I never wore it during the day again. I kept it as my bedtime perfume and it works like a charm. You spray it on, you go to bed. You definitely go to sleep with this one. So do check that one out if you can. It's, it's quite unique, that one. Okay, the next fragrance is another unique one. Let's talk about this one. This is L'Eau de Torrent by Tarant. Tarant? I don't know. I'll put it on the screen. This is a coffee fragrance. It's a coffee and amber fragrance. On me, it's a boozy, extremely boozy, like rum, coffee, amber, and musk fragrance. Now, coffee is supposed to wake you up, but it's not in this case with this perfume this one puts me to sleep because i think it's got that sweet boozy aspect to it um this is such a gorgeous fragrance guys i think it's been discontinued um which is a big shame and it's not really talked about i don't see it mentioned anywhere uh, but it's a gem in in my collection it's a gem it when I discovered this one, I started wearing it regularly and then it would just put me at ease. You know, I noticed that it would put me at ease and that I was always quiet when I was wearing it. So then I'm like, you know, I'm going to try and wear it to bedtime at bedtime. And I did. And from then on, I only wear it at bedtime because it really has that effect on me. I love it so much. The next fragrance is this one. Now that's a body oil and I have the matching fragrance to that, which is by More and it's called Marshmallow. Now this is more of a Turkish delight slash marshmallow slash cupcakey kind of a scent. Now, I adore this fragrance and I wearing I wear this during the day, night, whenever, but I find it too strong to wear at bedtime, so I opt for the oil, the body oil. Now, the body oil smells identical to the fragrance, but, you know, when you have a shower and you spray the oil on, you just get that nice um, smell. You get the same scent, but it's not overpowering. It's not going to give you a headache. Um... And it just mixes with your skin chemistry and it just with your body warmth. It just brings out the scent and oh my God, it's gorgeous. Sometimes I can tolerate this at night, sometimes. Only one spray of this one, but mostly I use the body oil. Um, as I said, it's a Turkish delight slash marshmallow scent. Very sweet. It's rosy. It's delicious and I love wearing the oil to sleep all right next fragrance is the etro helitrope and this one is powdery this one is a powdery scent powdery almond type of a scent but it's not too foody like it's not your gourmand or delicious fragrance that you're going to spray on and think oh i'm so hungry now no 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 this is more of a musky um i don't want to say it's like this one it's not they don't smell the similar but this one is more of an almond more powdery than this one i guess and it's just yeah 
very light on the skin and very um, cozy and comforting. It's really nice. The next one is, I'll talk about another cozy, cozy one that I love to wear. It's the Santal Blush by Tom Ford. This is a musky, uh, woody fragrance, but it's so gentle and delicate and it just feels like a cashmere jumper. Um, it just covers you up and makes you warm and snuggly. Um, yeah, this one is kind of, it reminds me of a, of a, um, bed cover. Like, you know, when you, when you have all your covers on and you're just so warm and you're so happy and content. When I spray this one on, I, f I get the same feeling. It's really, really lovely for bedtime. Okay. Another fragrance that I love to wear is this one. This is a really heavy patchouli fragrance. It's the Le Nared's patchouli antique this is very heavy stuff very heavy now i wear this one when i am dead tired when i've had a rough crappy day and i just want to sleep i just want to conk out i spray this one on and i just fall asleep because it it got um like a hippie patchouli type of scent like a um you know those natural smelling patchouli oils it smells like that, but it's got this like chocolatey note in it as well. So patchouli can tend to sometimes smell like chocolate, like a musky chocolate. And with this fragrance, I find that it does. It's a patchouli, chocolate, dense, heavy, warm, thick, thick scent. And yeah, it knocks me out. Um, and I love it for that. Now, another fragrance that has that type of effect is this one and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know what this one is I'm not going to say the name because I'm going to butcher it but I will write it on the screen this one smells like um, Guerlain Spiritueuse du Bouvigny it does remind me of it it really does just smelling it like this from the bottle yep it just reminds me of the other one and I used to wear the Guerlain one to sleep, but it was very expensive, so I opted for this one. And um, this was very cheap to buy at the time when I bought it. I don't know where you, you can buy it anymore. This was a couple of years ago, and yeah, it smells like boozy vanilla. Just straight out boozy vanilla, booze and vanilla. It's absolutely gorgeous and just probably my second favorite to wear to bed. Yeah. Definitely, definitely gorgeous stuff. Now, the next fragrance is this one. I don't know much about it, but it looks like this. The box looks like that, and it's called Golden Musk. I don't know who makes this. It doesn't really say, and it comes in this bottle, and it's an oil. Okay, this is the only time where I can tolerate oils is at bedtime or at night because I don't really like oils. Now, this one is a very common fragrance in the Middle Eastern countries and they make heaps of it. Like I've got bottles of this stuff and not um, from the same company and they smell identical. Okay, so it's a the scent is like a, a floral, musky, almond scent. So it's gourmand but more on the floral side. So gourmand, musk slash floral kind of a scent. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's my favorite Ar Arabic oil ever, ever. This scent is my favorite because it's got a very, um, intense note of almond and I love that. It's nutty, it's chewy, it's vanillary, it's absolutely delicious and it's slightly smoky as well. And I find that that smokiness that it has in it and that sweetness just makes me fall asleep honestly it's it's really really good i don't know much about it but yeah uh okay i've got three more fragrances to go the next one is this one this is by reminiscence 
Um, I never see this one talked about either. Um, Reminiscence have some really good fragrances, guys. I, I've got a few of them and I don't really see them mentioned much. This was their Gourmand line and I have all of them. This one I wear to bed because it's so delicate and pretty. It's just sweet, cupcakey again. Um, it's a marshmallow scent and it's called Draggy. Draggy. Um, and I'm pretty sure that means uh, marshmallow in French. I don't know actually, but I think it does. And, yeah, and this scent is just that. It's super sweet but delicate. It's so delicate and it sits wonderfully on the skin. It's beautifully combined and it just smells sweet and cupcakey and like a big hug, you know, just such a beautiful, beautiful thing. Really gorgeous stuff. Okay, the next one is... I discovered recently because this is a newer purchase of mine and I started wearing this to bed and it just works so well. It's the Alea Blanche. Uh, this is a flanker to the original. I don't really get along with the original. I prefer the flankers to that. Uh, this one is a sweet, musky, ambery type of a scent. Very warm, comforting inviting type of a scent um, and I've been wearing it quite a lot I have it in the um, I've been using the spray the other 10 ml spray that came in the gift box so I haven't really used the bottle yet but I've been really enjoying it at bedtime now the last fragrance is going to be the Leticia by Ronce this fragrance is probably the only spicy one that I wear to bed. I smell patchouli, spice, um, maybe amber in here. It, these two are the heaviest out of the lot that I've mentioned. Um, I love to wear this when I want to conk out as well, when I just want to sleep. I don't want to sit in bed for, for hours on the phone. I just want to sleep. I wear this one. And that one um, so yeah that's a spicy one and it's just uh, one of my favorites to wear at that time so there you have it guys this was this is the end of the video I hope you've enjoyed it these were my um, bedtime perfumes do you wear perfume at bedtime let me know let me know what you guys wear let me know what you think of these fragrances or um, if you've tried them or if you haven't I'd love to know. Uh, until next time, guys, take care. Bye.